Thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to uh, check out my latest uh, beer review. Uh, this episode I'm featuring one from the Noon Whistle Brewing Company. And this is another one that I picked up on a recent uh, trip over to Illinois, back home to my home state of Illinois. I, I live in Ohio. I uh, moved here uh, 20 some uh, plus years ago. And um, occasionally go back home and um when i usually when i when i make a trip back home i usually try to stop and get some beer as i pass through indiana into illinois pick up some indiana stuff some illinois stuff stuff that's not available to me where i'm located in um, ohio and this is one i've never heard of this brewery noon whistle brewing company and they are located it says it, they list two locations uh, Lombard, Illinois, and Naperville, Illinois, and I am familiar with uh, the uh, Naperville up near Chicago there. And uh, let's see here, they call this uh, Passion Fruit Face Smack Sour Ale. So just looking them up on uh, Untapped, it looks like maybe this smack uh, is like a series of stuff they have, Sour Ales, Berliner Weiss style Ales. And this one here is the uh, passion fruit um, a variant, I guess, of the uh, face smack, which it does have a little R for, uh, you know, it's registered there. They, they own that, I guess. It is a 12-ounce can coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. And you kind of see their Noon Whistle Brewing logo right there. It's kind of cool. Right there, looking around, you see the uh, smack on there. And, uh, you know, definitely pretty simple uh, artwork there. Nothing not too crazy about it or anything like that. I don't know if they use real fruit or, you know, just some type of fruit flavor in here. Um, so I'll just give it a little bit of a roll here. And then hopefully we don't get some massive uh, explosion when we crack this thing open. If we do, I'll try to get it in the glass real quick there. All right, so let's see what we got here with this thing. And this was a part of a Build Your Own Six Pack uh, that I got at a, uh, a Benny's uh, liquor store and in a couple of local stores uh, on my trip back home that actually just sells different craft beers there. So it's, it's definitely pouring a somewhat uh, light colored there. Um, I'll get a better look at it after I get it all in here. But we definitely have... Um, a white head up on top of this with lots of uh, carbonation being released in this thing. Um, my guess is typical to this style, sour ale style, this head's not going to be around too long with us. Uh, but it is a nice white one. Uh, lots of uh, like fisheye bubbles uh, popping all over the place in this thing. I can actually hear like a sizzling, um, you know, a sizzling uh, coming from the, um, a fizzing coming from the the glass itself so just a murky cloudy look to this here uh, almost a uh, dark yellow to a golden uh, color to this right here um, still got a good amount of carbonation and this is a uh, rinsed glass so definitely is uh, just a lot of carbonation releasing in from the beer itself all right so let's get a nose on this thing it says passion fruit face smack am i going to get smacked in the face with some passion fruit let's find out okay so with the name face smack i was actually expecting a more of a smack face smack of passion fruit and uh, it's there. It's passion fruit. You can tell it's a passion fruit um, flavored um, type of beer. So I get that passion fruit aroma. But it's not crazy uh, in your face like I thought it was going to be. Like I was hoping it was going to be. Yeah, it's just kind of passion fruit that sourness from it um definitely has all the the like the sour l or berliner vice um and most of these were this from the smack series uh they were listed as berliner um vice style l's this was just listed as a like a generic sour l but you do get a lot of that type of uh sour l um sour passion fruit coming off of this and that's pretty much it 
nothing complex at all about this uh, the the nose on it so let's get a drink on this thing this is all about Hmm. So, where it was lacking in that nose, made up for in that taste, those 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 tasting notes. Um, first off, crisp, refreshing, prickly on the tongue. Um, now, it's loaded with this passion fruit like the flavor itself is just i want to say a fresh passion fruit not like a uh, excuse me well carbonate i'm belching it up uh not like a generic um candied uh passion fruit but actually like fresh like passion fruit juice you know um just much thinner than an actual juice obviously Mm. So, it's not crazy sour for a sour L, but there's enough sourness to it. Um, the more I'm drinking of it, I get more of a dryness on the back end here. Um, it just just a, a little bit of a drying um, on the back of the palate there. Um, and that's after a few drinks here, honestly. I didn't get that at first. Good, it's good. Um, face smack from Noon Whistle, a brewing company um, of Northern Illinois. I'm gonna give it. I rather like. I, I like this. I really like this. I'm not gonna go crazy on it um, because there's, it's just a passion fruit sour. There's nothing crazy. Um, did it, I thought I said there was lactose in it? A lactic sour. I'm sorry. A clean lactic sour bite on the tongue. I got that. Uh, the passion fruit added lends tropical sweet and tart throughout. Very light and refreshing. It is very light and refreshing. Um, I do get the tropical. Uh, the passion fruit uh, says sweet and tart. Nah, maybe there's a mild sweetness because of the, the juice vibe that it gives off. Um, I thought it was a lot more sour than tart itself. Uh, but um, now we're splitting hairs there. So... Uh, far scoring this, um, I'm going to give it a 4.15 out of 5. It's pretty good. I drank it again, no no doubt. Um, I would definitely uh, drink a face smack again. I'd actually like to try some of the other variants of it, actually, see what all um, they were going. I thought they might have even had a slushy version of one of these uh, smack uh, series beers. Hey, anyhow, hope you like what you're seeing here. I hope you become a subscriber and give the video a thumbs up, drop a comment, hit the notification bell down there. Like always, I appreciate you watching.